previously on Mass Effect 2. Please tell me your password, Commander Shepard. Uh, silence is golden. Silence is golden. We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard. I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My console says you're dead. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the city. Man, it's been a long time, Anderson. I hope the last couple of years have treated you right. There have been some rough spots. It's good to have you back. Shepard, if you keep a low profile and restrict your operations to the Terminus systems, the Council is willing to offer you reinstatement as a spectator. Let's do it. I accept your offer. It's good to have the Council on my side. The doesn't say if Okir is on this planet by choice. Assume hostiles. There is only one measure of success. Kill or be killed. Perfection is your goal. Broadcasting orders over loudspeaker. Charming. Stay focused. We're looking for a Krogan warlord. Eyes up, people. Mighty army. What's this lady talking about? Look out, post ahead. And they're ready for us. Actually. He doesn't need to know that. I knew it wasn't berserkers. Ah, not at range. You're mercs or alliance. I'm not. I'm not telling you anything. I've got a nice application of metagel ready to go. But if you'd rather, I just keep walking. Son of a bitch. I, I just. I don't know anything. I just shoot the overflow from the labs. The old Krogan up there. He, he's really been cleaning house lately. Jador hired him to make her an army, but the Krogan he creates are insane. So we use them for live ammo training. It's all crap. I don't get paid enough to goddamn bleed out. Outpost 4, Jador wants us to move. We need coordinates on that Krogan pack. I wouldn't do that. I want your friends gone. Understand? Uh, patrol? The last group dispersed. Lost sight five minutes ago. Dispersed? Jador will be pissed. She wanted a show. You asked for a report, you got it. Dispersed. Understood. Returning to the labs. There. You see? I'm helping. Have you seen Okir? Does he know about all of this? We can't go in the labs. But everyone sees what happens when the Krogan come out. I've shot hundreds. They're crazy. Mindless. Anyone up there, they know what's going on. What's Jador planning to do with all these Krogan? Replace us, probably. I sure wouldn't want to see an army of them coming at me. Only she can't control them. They aren't supposed to be crazy, but they're Krogan. How smart are they to start? I mean, you'd be surprised, man. Is Jador's lab heavily guarded? There are big guns to keep ships away. We're not outfitted to fight goddamn commandos. That's good to know. If you start limping now, you might find a shady spot before you bleed out. The scare was a nice touch. Thanks. I thought so. Come on. Our warlord is somewhere in Jador's lab. Training is part of your contract. Failure to perform means liquidation, legal and otherwise. Hostiles are heading to cover. Heading to cover. Here goes. Can't get 
Keep an eye out. That might be not might not be all of them. Push up. I need cover. Team four, do you read? Team four. Calm tells you to be able to roll. The goals are going to either the crew can have pushing or the place is any. Keep moving. The Krogans are your example and your warning. As ferocious as they are, failures are expendable. They've seen us. Easy, big guy. You are different. You, you don't smell like this world. Seven night cycles, and I have felt only the need to kill. But you, something makes me speak. He's only a week old? Hmm. They must breed them full size, ready to kill. Not much improvement over regular mercs if they need training. Bread to kill. No, I kill because my blood and bone tell me to. But it's not why I was flushed from Glass Mother. Survival is what I hear in my head. Against the enemy that threatens all my kind. But I failed, even before waking. That is what the voice in the water said. That is why I wait here. Hey. You're supposed to be part of a mercenary army. Do you remember Jador? I know that name. It causes anger, but also laughter. It is not a name that will be sung when we march. I don't know what that means, but I have heard it many times. Hmm. How can you speak if you're only a week old? There was a scratching sound in my head. And it became the voice. It taught things I would need. Walking, talking, hitting, shooting. Then the voice said I was not perfect. And the teaching stopped. And now I am here. It was taught enough to be tested, but for what? I don't know, but I am not perfect. Hey? Okir's voice? Did he speak to you while you were in your tank? I heard the voice. Not like now with ears inside I called it father it liked that but it was disappointed 
I'm not what it needs me to be. A lab with Krogan? Must be an attempt to cure the genophage. Cure? Cure was never whispered. Survive, resist, ignore. I destroyed Saren's cure. How does Okira expect these Krogan to ignore the genophage if not by curing it? I have no idea. It doesn't look like he's had much success with these Krogan. How did you disappoint the voice? I don't know. It was decided before I left Tank Mother. I was not perfect. Maybe spending his week-long childhood in a tank made him crazy, like that Merc said. I don't know of that, but I'm not perfect. Can you show me the laboratory? I need to speak with Okir. The... Glass Mother. She is up, past the broken parts, behind many of you fleshy things. I will show you. Impressive. And dangerous. You fleshy things are slow when big things are in your way. Oh, thank you. You could have run, or tried to fight your way back to the labs. Why stay here? I am waiting. The voice told me, if they come, I fight. But I will not run, and I will not follow. I am not perfect, but I have purpose. I must wait until called, released. What? <clears throat> Well, don't like the look of that. Stay alert. Always alert, Miranda. Son of a bitch. Well, let him charge. Whoa! What the hell was that? Nice job. Any of these damn things are there? Huh. Okay. Broken on our six. Copy, goddammit. Where's the door and her personal guard? This should come in handy.
Thanks. Went down. Sue me. This should scramble their system. Concentrate on the crook and charge or we're all dead. Who was a genius who gave them arms? Bingo. Keep moving. Hey. Concentrate fire on my position. Concentrate on Doesn't sound like he made it.
Nice. Thank you. There we go, team. Let's keep pushing. Shepard, don't shoot. You know me. I shut down the security cams as soon as I saw it was you. Never thought I'd say it, but I'm glad it's you shooting up the place. Sorry, ran up an optus. You let me go when oh, you, you again. Sam's lab on Vermeer. Had to outrun a nuke in a utility pod, but it's still a second chance. I assume you have a good reason for being at this lab. Don't worry, I'm not wasting the chance you gave me. My work here, strictly beneficial. Not for the mercs. Jador's on a standard power trip. But Okir is trying to do something good, even if his methods are a little extreme. Everyone deserves a second chance, right? And sometimes giving one pays off. I take care of my debts. What's Okir trying to do here? It's complicated. Jador wants a private army, but Okir mostly ignores her. He's running the project for his own reasons. I created a mental imprint routine to educate his tank bread. Most don't get through it. He dumps them for some reason. He wants to help his people, but he's not looking for a genophage cure, and he's not going for numbers. That's all I know. Finding you in a place like this makes me think letting you go was a mistake. You don't want that. We agree on that. Don't worry. I plan on staying as far away from anything to do with you as possible. Now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna run like hell before you blow the place or something. I know how you work. She seemed nice, in that mad scientist ethics for sale kind of way. Alright. Let's see. Oh, ah, I missed that one. Oh, God. I got caught. Got 
Okay. Here. It's about time. The batteries on these tanks will not wait while you play with these idiotic mercs. I take it you're okay here? You don't seem particularly caged, or grateful that I'm here. You may claim to be here to help, but the formerly deceased Shepherd is not a sign of gentle change. Surprised? Old Krogan should know you. I'm sure Rana has already revisited your actions on Vermeer. And I bet you will too. I'm sure you're eager to retell the story. Such a tale. Saren, the Spectre Traitor, threatens the return of the Krogan Horde by curing the Genophage, undoing the gentle genocide of the Turians and Salarians. But before Saren can deliver his endless troops, in rides Shepard, securing victory through nuclear fire. I like that part. It has weight. Hmm. That was a tough decision. I didn't have a lot of room for finesse. If there'd been any other solution, I'd have considered it. But I approve. Saren's pale horde were not true Krogan. Numbers alone are nothing. The mistake of an outsider. One that these mercenaries have also made. I gave their leader my rejects for her army. But she grows impatient. It's time for you to take me out of here. We're here about the Collectors. We couldn't care less about your problems. I see. Yes. Collector attacks have increased. A human concern. My requests were focused elsewhere. I acquired the knowledge to create one pure soldier. With that, I will inflict upon the Genophage the greatest insult an enemy can suffer. To be ignored. Be ignored? Your search for the perfect soldier created a lot of failures. You don't care about them? I feel no one. My rejects are exactly what Jador asked for. She simply lacks the ability to command. They are strong. Healthy and useless to me. I need perfection. If a few thousand are rejected, so be it. My work will purify the Krogan. We will not be restored. We will be renewed. I thought the Krogan ideal was a return to the numbers that threatened the galaxy. We will not need numbers. My soldier is a template. It is a greater threat than all the phantom siblings that would have been at its flank. The galaxy still bears the scars of the Horde, but it will learn to fear the Lance. Hey, You're just as cruel and manipulative as those who released the Genophage on your people. Perhaps, but I will restore the Krogan, and my soldier will not provoke a nuclear response as a cure or Horde would. My legacy is perfection, with each pure Krogan reaching higher by standing on our dead. They will exceed, but not forget. What did you get from the Collectors? I need whatever you know about them. They are strange. So isolated, yet very available when your sacrifice is big enough. I gave them Mini Krogan. I may have information for you, but the tech was consumed in my prototype. After I determined how to use it without killing the subjects. The deaths were unfortunate, but I only need one success to start the process. Okay. So you don't want to cure the Genophage? Contrary to what survivors claim, the Genophage does not produce strong Krogan. The only quality it filters is the ability to survive the Genophage. For every thousand stillborn, too many weaklings live. Every survivor is branded as precious. That's produced more cuddling than your collective human teats. I say, let us carry the Genophage. Let a thousand die in a clutch. We will defeat it by climbing atop our dead. That is the Krogan way. Okay. 
Well, will you join us? Your methods are extreme, but you know how to deconstruct a threat. Will you help us? Perhaps I can strike a deal to secure passage. But my prototype is not negotiable. It is the key to my legacy. my legacy with a damn valve. Shepard, you want information on the collectors? Stop her. She'll try to access contaminants in the storage bay. Hey. You can just start over like she plans to. What's the big deal? This tank is pure. It involved as much trial as data. Starting over will not duplicate it. It must survive. Jador will be with the rejected tanks. Kill her. I will stay and do what must be done. I mean, yeah, you do what you need to do. This looks interesting. What? <clears throat> Just keep moving, keep moving. I think she's talked enough. They've seen it. Nice job. What the hell? We'll take it with us. Okia wasted his life to save this single Krogan? That thing can't be worse than Okia. And if he's tough, we need him. A pure Krogan could pack a hell of a punch. We can always use another heavy hitter. If he'll even help. I doubt anyone's ever asked for his opinion on anything. Normandy, Okia is a no-go, but we have a package that needs retrieval. And he's a big one.
Good job, team. Bringing the Krogan to study makes sense, but I have concerns about waking it. Yeah, you've said that a few times now. A normal Krogan is dangerous. This one was created and likely educated by a madman. I see everyone's enjoying the new paperweight. Concerns? We don't know anything about it, Commander. I know. You don't find that interesting? Krogan fight well at close quarters. Perhaps awakening him in a confined space wouldn't be prudent. Noted. The cargo hold is safe enough while I decide what to do with them. You know what? Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Sounds good. Have to say you run this ship tight, and we're getting things done. We keep on track and maybe we'll figure this out. Maybe. I hope so. I'm not looking forward to the debrief if it all goes to hell. Is there something specific? Or are you just checking in? I like to know my crew. Forget procedure. Tell me about yourself. Informal, huh? Everything's in my file. Ex-Alliance like you, no Reapers or anything, but I got swept under the rug too. The more good you do, the less they want to admit that something needed doing. That's true. What led you to Cerberus? The Alliance sidelined me after Eden Prime. Ended up on a job with Miranda that Cerberus treated like an audition. And here I am. You don't seem like a results at all costs kind of guy. Cerberus history doesn't bother you? The Alliance is all politics. Somebody has to take down the bad people. Cerberus keeps that line, I'm on their side. Okay. What was your proudest career moment? The job I'm proudest of wasn't for the Alliance. Nobody really knows about it. A Batarian group was plotting to release a weaponized virus and kill the Council. Miranda and I stopped it. Strange that it wasn't bigger news. The real work doesn't get publicized, you know that. They say it's better that people don't know how fragile the system is or how close the bad guys can get. So, it never happened. Like you and the Reaper. And that's why I'm here. You look like you came through no worse for wear. If nothing else, the Alliance trains their people well. Once you live that life, you can't sit around getting fat. You know how it goes. Although I bet Cerberus puts you back together better than ever. Get any upgrades? I'm glad enough they restored me to stock. Couldn't hurt to keep some spare parts handy, though. I hear that. Your job isn't getting any safer. You know, I used to wonder what the big deal with you was. But now that we're in deep, I'm glad it's not me in the spotlight. There's no hiding, Jacob. Not for any of us. Don't worry. This is exactly what I signed on for. If that's all, Commander, I'll get back to my duties. There's a lot to get ready. All right, man. All right. What you got to say? True, we have a pod containing a baby Krogan down in the. Well, not really a baby. Not a baby. He's a full-grown super soldier, ready for combat. Please be careful if you decide to birth him. His personality is completely unknown. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, nope. Commander? That'll be That's all. it, man. I'll be here if you need anything. See if Joker's got anything to say. Just touch base with the crew real quick. Any news on your brother? He's gone. They're all gone. But we'll get them back. Shepard lost. Commander. Ever think about the old Normandy and the trouble we got up to? Yeah, those seem like the good old days now, but come on, it, it was hell at the time. Geth, Saren, Sovereign, and then we got dumped. We're stuck in a weird place, sure, but back then it wasn't all sunshine and bunnies. What happened to the rest of the old crew? I heard most survived. Almost did. Presley didn't. And the rest of us just sort of drifted apart. The Alliance didn't care. I don't think they liked all the non-humans in your crew. We were your team, Commander. With the Normandy destroyed and you gone, there wasn't much keeping us together. Hmm. So, how do you think we're doing? Well, the Normandy's not as ready as she could be. There's always more we could upgrade. As for the crew, you'd have to ask a, a people person. Okay. 
What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last, I would never say anything against Miranda and expect to survive the reprisal. I like Kasumi, but why do I feel like I need to check the Citadel for parts she may have pawned? It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. I assume everything is going well up here? I really want a chance to put the Normandy through her paces. I just have to trim up the drive output and it'll be like we never lost her. Safety standards advise against manipulating drive settings while engines are powered and in use, Mr. Moreau. Commander, can we shut this thing off? I don't need it in my day-to-day. Lerberus -day. disagrees. I'm no fan either, but we're stuck with it. Until I find a soldering gun. It's gotta be some wires I can cross to make it hurt. No sabotage. Understood? Yeah, yeah, don't break the boss's toys. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Yes, Shepard. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Alright, let's go see what Miranda has to say, and then we'll go... We'll decide what to do with this Krogan. Commander, what can I do for you? Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well, and the ship appears to be performing to specifications. Do you have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'm just finishing an operation report. I'm impressed, Shepard. So far, things have gone exceptionally well. As Cerberus operations go, this is one of the best I've been a part of. Well, I mean, it's because it's not a Cerberus one. Maybe that's because this isn't a Cerberus operation. Not to you, maybe. But I report directly to the elusive man. And I'm here because he wants me to be. Cerberus gave you a second chance, Commander. Maybe you should do the same for us. Why is that? What did Cerberus do that made you so loyal? Hmm. I suppose you deserve to know. Do you remember when I told you how I was genetically altered? Well, that wasn't my choice. My father... created me. He's a very influential man and extremely controlling. He didn't want a daughter. He wanted a dynasty. I ran away as soon as I was old and brave enough. I went to Cerberus because I knew they could protect me. Hey. How bad were the terms you and your father parted on? Shots were fired. You seem capable of defending yourself. Why did you need Cerberus? My father invested a great deal in his dynasty. It wasn't a matter of just leaving. I knew he would continue to pursue his investments. I assume that Cerberus approves of your enhanced abilities? Of course. Cerberus fully endorses anything that advances the cause of humanity. Genetic alterations included. But unlike my father and his own selfish reasons, Cerberus and the elusive man believe in a greater good. They see the bigger picture. And I feel like I have a purpose here. Okay. Who exactly is your father? A businessman. But a very wealthy one. It's ironic. My father believed deeply in a human positive agenda. He donated generously to Cerberus before I joined them. That's how I first heard about Cerberus, through my father's connections. Hey. Who exactly is your father? A businessman. But it's our, that's what? how I first heard about Cerberus. Oh, it's through my father's switched it connections. on me. You've told me a lot about your father. What happened to your mother? I never had one. Most of my genetic material is based on my father's tissue. His Y chromosome was altered with an amalgam of desired traits from various sources. How arrogant can you be? The man is completely egomaniacal. Just another reason I had to get away from him. You talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used. By your father? By Cerberus? Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. No problem. Thanks for your time, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Alright. Anytime, Commander. Anytime, huh? Anytime, anytime. Alright. Break my neck. <laughs> All right. The 
subject is stable, Shepard. Integration with onboard systems was seamless. Can he see anything in there? Does he know where he is? Unlikely. Current neural patterns indicate minimal cognition. Barring shipwide power loss, the nutrients in the tank could sustain him for over a year. Any idea how dangerous this guy is? He is a Krogan, Shepard. If you were asking whether he is actively hostile, I don't have the necessary data to answer. Okir's technology could impart data, not methods of thinking. The subject may know of his views, but would not necessarily share them. What can you tell me about this guy? Anything unusual? The subject is an exceptional example of the Krogan species, with fully formed primary, secondary, and tertiary organs where applicable. No defects of any kind, aside from the genetic markers of the genophage present in all Krogan. I cannot judge mental functioning. Screw it! Open him up! Stand by. I'm gonna open the tank and let him out. Cerberus protocol is very clear regarding untested alien technology. He's either a powerful addition to the crew or a time bomb. I'd rather deal with it now. Very well, Shepard. The controls are online. The switch and consequences are yours. Alright, buddy. Let's see what you got going on here. Easy there. Before you die, I need a name. I'm Commander Shepard, and I don't take threats lightly. I suggest you relax. Not your name. Mine. I'm trained. I know things. But the tank, Okir couldn't implant connection. His words are hollow. Warlord, legacy, Grunt. Grunt. Grunt was among the last. It has no meaning. It'll do. I am Grunt. If you are worthy of your command, prove your strength and try to destroy me. You wouldn't prefer Okir? Or Legacy? It's short. Matches the training in my blood. The other words are big things I don't feel. Maybe they fit your mouth better. I feel nothing for Okir's clan or his enemies. I'll do what I'm bred to do. Fight and determine the strongest. But his imprint has failed. Without a reason that's mine, one fight is as good as any other. Might as well start with you. How about you join me, and we'll find you that fight? I have a good ship and a strong crew. A strong clan. You'd make it stronger. If you're weak and choose weak enemies, I'll have to kill you. Our enemies are worthy. No doubt about that. Hmm. Hmm. That's acceptable. I'll fight for you. I'm glad you saw reason. Huh? <laughs> Offer one hand, but arm the other. Wise Shepherd. If I find a clan, if I find what I, I want, I will be honored to eventually pit them against you. Right. Well. Uh, that's over. Go feed our fish.
Oh. Interesting. All right. Let's go get the next person. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Lucifer Man. Shepard, I see you awakened Okir's Krogan. A dangerous decision, but you've got free reign on this operation. If you're certain he'll be a useful member of the team, you've got my support. We need every weapon we can get in this battle. If this grunt proves unreliable and has to be put down, don't lose the body. He's based at at least partially on... He's based at least partially on collector technology and could offer useful genetic data. But again, you are in charge. Yes, I am. I don't know what to feel about Oh, he was just born, so... Psych reports were for Oak here. We have no guarantees that Grunt is mentally stable. I get the feeling he just doesn't care about anything, including who lives or dies. Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That's it. That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Let's get going. How may I help you, Commander? Got your brandy. I have a present for you, Doc. Sarah's ice brandy? You didn't. <laughs> Thank you. I always regretted not opening that original bottle when I still could. I won't make the same mistake again. Why don't we open this bottle right here, right now, you and me? Screw it. You crack open the bottle. I'll get the glasses. <laughs> I thought Olenko's biotic display might have broken Jenkins' back, but Jenkins pops up and yells, That was awesome! <laughs> oh, Jenkins. Soldiers like him make the Alliance great. Cerberus lacks the same enthusiasm. With your service record, you could have gotten a tour of duty on any Alliance ship. Why'd you really leave? Maybe it's less about leaving and more about staying. As a military doctor, I mostly treat people who are in bad shape. Often they die. And if I can help them, they move on. By the way, don't you have any friends or family? No, not lacking friendship. Just stability. Jeff, the Joker will always have Rolic syndrome. He would never admit it, but he needs my help, and he always will. I wish he weren't, but sadly, it's true. Treating Joker gives you a kind of stability. So does this ship, even if it's a copy. Or hell. Maybe it's you, Shepard, our removable center. A place for a person to stop and catch her breath. Or maybe I'm just happily drunk. Would it hurt if it was simple like that for once? Here's to simply being happily drunk. I'll drink to that. 